ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the TRW control arms used in the video through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. In order to make changes to the control arms on your vehicle, you must lift the front of the car and remove the wheels. This will give you full access to the suspension system. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Start by brushing the ball joint retaining nut on the control arm, then spray it with degreaser. Be careful not to get any degreaser on the disc. If you do, make sure to decontaminate the disc using brake cleaner. Using an 18mm spanner, unscrew the retaining nut. Using a ball joint puller, separate the ball joint from the steering knuckle. Using a crowbar, lever off and remove the control arm on the steering knuckle. Using a socket wrench and an 18mm socket, unscrew the front holding screw on the control arm and remove it. Using a socket wrench and an 18mm socket, unscrew the rear holding screw on the control arm. Hold the top nut with an 18mm offset spanner. Then remove the screw. Retrieve the nut. You can now remove the control arms by praying it off with a large screwdriver or crowbar. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You will find the TRW parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Take your new control arm and remove the protection on the ball joint. Start by brushing, then greasing the location of the control arm to facilitate the installation. Start by inserting the back part and sliding into its housing. You can use a screwdriver to help line up and screw it in more easily. Once in place, roughly screw in the screw by hand. Pivot the control arm to put the front part into the housing. You can use a screwdriver to align the control arms and screw it back in with more ease until it makes contact. Screw the rear screw on the control arms back in until it makes contact. Put the ball joint into the pivot, then screw it back in. 
During this operation, you will work on the front end of your car. An alignment check carried out by a professional will ensure that your steering system is once again perfectly adjusted and functioning. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. It is now time to lift the control arms at the ball joint using a jack. The silent blocks on the engine subframe side must be tightened in the vehicle on the ground position in order to preserve their integrity. Tighten the two inner retaining screws on the control arms with a torque spanner. Lower the jack. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.